Welcome back to Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we were in Big Boo's Haunt, and I was asking myself whether there was another star we could get there, and there actually was not. We have to get uh, a different kind of cap before we can get that particular star. So, you know what that means. It's finally time to open this door with a big star on it and face off against Bowser. Ooh, we have more than enough stars to open this door. I think we only need like 10. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. Oh boy, it's like a, it's like a automatic door instead of a regular one. Oh, and look there, we have a nice little painting of Princess Peach up there. How oh, nice. Let's run toward it, shall we? Oh no, that's not Princess Peach, that is Bowser, and we fell into his trap door. Bwahahaha, <laughs> you stepped that into my trap, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend, watch your step. Okay, so, on top of this Lego block here, welcome to Bowser in the Dark World. It's kind of a scary name, and you know what? The Dark World is uh, a pretty s frightening concept, you know? Uh, it's pretty much hell. Um, so there are eight red coins in this stage. If you collect them all, you get a star. Um, you don't... This stage doesn't have any missions. It's basically just get through the stage and fight Bowser. Um, you know, beside... Besides the red coin mission, there really isn't anything else to do here. Um, that also means that there is no 100 coin mission, at least if I remember correctly, there is no 100 coin mission. If there was, that would really suck, especially for this stage, because it's so... The platforming is rather on the hard side. Um, it's not too difficult. I mean, this is... We're, we're pretty early on in the game, so the, the platforming isn't going to be insanely, ridiculously hard, so... Watch out for those guys, they will electrocute you, so. This red coin right here is a little bit treacherous. I don't know. These things are kind of like sponges, I always thought. Okay, this one busts my balls every time. Okay, whew. Just gonna make this jump. Oh, I could have... Oh, uh, never mind. I was gonna say I could have jumped. Uh, so the next red coin is gonna be over there on that, like, little island thing. Um, you c I could have actually jumped from the spongy thing over there to the island, but wasn't thinking that far ahead. Uh, if you don't jump from the spongy thing, then you can just cross that bridge right there. Not a big deal. Where is the coin? There it is. Okay. We can head back now. And believe it or not, we're actually pretty much almost done with the stage. <laughs> Even though we are, we only have six red coins out of eight. Um, the, the remaining two are, like, right in this area, and then we pretty much just go to the, to the top of that hill over there. And we're at uh, the Bowser fight, pretty much, so... I'm excited. This is it. <laughs> this is the end of the Let's Play. I'm just kidding. Oh, god damn it, man. Why do I keep doing that? I'm just, I'm, I'm getting cocky. I'm jumping when I'm not supposed to. I'm trying to do, like, speed running, <laughs> speed running tactics here. It's not working out for me. Okay, so there's the seventh one. The eighth one is pretty devious. You just gotta go down here. And if you change the camera angle... Oh, that that is one thing that I really actually like about uh, this stage, that you can move the camera angle as many times as you want in eight different directions. That's very nice. And there's the Aether coin. So, there is a star. And actually, getting the star is not gonna take us out of the world, so don't worry about that. Just go ahead and collect it, and then you can go finish up the level like you, like you normally would. Oh jeez, okay, woo. You just gotta be quick on that stairs. That's not hard at all. <laughs> wow, another power star. Mario gains more courage from the power of the castle. Do you wanna save? No, I don't want to. Maybe that was a bad move, but I don't know. Let's go into the pipe. Oh shit, dude. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool wasn't here. <laughs> Go ahead. Just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never. Ha! Okay, well, um, kind of odd, but Bowser pretty much tells us the secret to defeating him, which is grabbing him by his tail and swinging him around. You have to rotate the control stick uh, repeatedly in order to swing him around. Which is a pretty cool thing, you know. Um, but basically, the goal here, uh, like with the Big Bob Bomb, isn't to throw him off the edge. If you do that, he'll just jump right back up. Rather, 
you're going to want to throw him into one of these bombs that are on the edge of the stage, as you can see. And when you throw Bowser, Mario says, Mario actually calls Bowser gay. He says, so long, gay Bowser. Okay, okay, actually, I know that's not what he's saying. I know Nintendo would never put that in their game. But then you just tell me what he's saying, because I have no idea. It just always sounds like so long, gay Bowser to me. Maybe he's saying King Bowser? I don't know. Oh, I keep pressing A to throw him. It's not right. So long, gay Bowser. Okay. Yeah, um, these Bowser fights aren't the easiest thing in the world for me because I'm not very good at aiming. Um, but one thing you can do to make it a little bit easier on yourself is to just kind of uh, swing him so he's pretty close to a bomb or a mine or whatever you want to call it. And then it makes it a little bit easier. Sometimes you don't even have to throw him. You can just swing him around and he'll hit the bomb. Oh god, I can't... Ah, oh, come on, man. I just can't get the timing right, ever. I, I'm bad at this, I'm sorry. Yeah, Bowser will breathe fire at you, which does hurt you a lot, so make sure not to... Okay, this should be pretty... This is a pretty good... I shouldn't even have to swing him. Okay, yeah. You don't have to swing him at max velocity every time. You can go pretty slow if you want. So there we go. All you have to do is hit him once. Oh, grr, I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, he just exploded, man. What the hell? He is for sure dead. But he drops a key, and, uh... If you haven't guessed already, if you haven't been able to put two and two together. Oh, I like that! I like that little animation that Mario does when he ha when he gets the key. That's nice. Uh, if you haven't put two and two together yet, uh, there are like locked doors in the castle. See, like this one right over here. This key doesn't fit. Maybe it's for the basement. Yes. Okay. So now that we have the key, we can finally unlock the basement, which is down here. As I I believe I've showed this before. Jam it in there, Mario. It's an awfully big key. Like the keyhole takes up a quarter of the door. Okay, here we have another star door. Another automatic door. Oh, do we actually have enough stars to open it already? Oh my god, we do. Uh, okay. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, because I kind of want to do the basement worlds first, but, uh... Yeah. That's actually pretty funny that we already have enough stars to progress if we really wanted to. So here's the basement. It's kind of creepy and it looks like a Legend of Zelda place, doesn't it? It's got like torches and stuff, but there's a toad down here. Wow, you've already recovered that many stars. Way to go, Mario. I'll bet you have us out of here in no time. Be careful though. Bowser is banned. Wrote the book on bad. Take my advice. When you need to recover from injuries, collect coins. Yellow coins refill one piece of the power meter, red coins refill two pieces, and blue coins refill five. To make blue coins appear, pound a blue coin blocks, or kill a bunch of boos or twomps. Actually, thwomps don't drop blue coins. Also, if you fall from high places, you'll minimize damage if you pound the ground as you land. Thanks, Toad. That was really helpful, and it really hurt my throat. Um, but, you know. Down here, you will also find this rabbit. He's not running away from me right now, which is weird, but I'm sure if I take one more step toward him, he's going to instantly bolt out of here. If you catch this rabbit, he will give you a power star. So I'm just going to try to be like as sneaky as I can. Fuck, I thought I could... Ah, oh, God, I thought I was going to run to the right. Yeah, it's not so easy to catch this guy. Um, he runs all the all over the place. Not not very fun. I'll do that later. Anyway, we have this uh, menacing looking world here. Uh, that's actually gonna suck a lot trying to do that. Um, we have that star that uh, we have that door that has no star requirement, so maybe we'll go there too. Uh, I just want to catch this rabbit first of all. Um, this dead end over here, it's not actually a dead end. If you get closer, you'll find out that. The wall is actually a painting that you can jump inside. Kind of weird that's like hidden like that, but uh, I was 
Okay, maybe we can like anticipate where he's gonna run to and then Get your ass over here, man. It's so difficult. I spent so much time as a kid just chasing this rabbit around, trying to catch his ass. Oh, I totally- I made contact with him! I saw that! Ah, uh, don't run into the wall, Mario. What are you doing? I totally touched him, too! What the f- Dude. I- what the- what the dillweed? What the dickies? I- I caught him! Did you- I can't be the only one who, who saw me make contact with the freaking rabbit. He can run over here too, which is not very nice of him. I keep punching instead of doing like the little... Oh my god, screw this rabbit, man. Oh, I caught him. I totally did. You... Fucking... Why does there have to be so many turns? So many twists and turns in this damn place. I just touched him. Do I have to, like, punch him? That's not fair. I can't run that fast. I can't even travel that fast. How am I supposed to catch him? Fucking... Stop running away, man. He's gonna run to the left, so maybe I can, like... What the... You can't just change it up like that. That's not fair. Ah, uh, yeah, I got you, you son of a bitch. Yeah, unhand me, brute. I'm late, so late, I must make haste. This shiny thing? Mine, it's mine. Finders, keepers, losers. Late, late, late. Ouch, take it then. A gift from Bowser it was. Now let me be. I have a date. I cannot be late for tea. Alice in Wonderland reference much? Okay, anyway, if you if you end up being able to catch the rabbit somehow, I don't even know how I did that, but uh, he will give you a power star. So that's nice. Wow, another the power star. Mario gains more courage and the power of the castle. Yes. Do you want to save? Um, actually, I will, because I'm going to end this episode now. And I'm going to also end this recording session, so that's, that's good. Um, in the next episode of Mario 64, we will further explore the basement of the castle. See what we can do. So I will see you then.